Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark Spencer. With me today is, surprise, surprise, Steve Martin. I've seen a lot of you around here recently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of a studio rat. I just yeah. kind of hang Maybe around Maybe we should here. do a show together. Yeah. yeah. All right. About we, Fonica Pro or something. Yeah. Audio. And related applications. And related yeah. applications. But we were talking a lot about Fonica Pro because of this 10.0.6 update. That's, it's been a few months now, but still, there's been a lot of stuff to talk about. There's still stuff to talk about. Yeah. I mean, people are still kind of using it and discovering things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm discovering things. Uh, like, I discovered something. What did you discover? That you can export... In audio components, i.e., um, audio individual audio channels as separate roles. So you can you can assign individual audio channels as roles and then export them separately. Yes. Now I know that's like, why would you ever want to do that? Well, in, in some occasions you want to be able to hand off like your sound editor the individual uh, audio stems yes. for for sweetening. And in some cases, depending on where you're working, if we're in broadcast, where a lot of times they're handed what are called uh, split track masters, mm -hmm. where you're given DM and E tracks, dialogue music effects, and sometimes they want you know the, the main character dialogue broken out as separate stems. Okay, separate right. from the other. Separate people from who the other people, exactly. Okay, and so then, they can manipulate those individually it, and clean them up and sweeten them. That's right. Yeah. Exactly, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and you can do it really simple now with uh, with this new audio component feature combined with the exporting role feature introduced in 10.01, it's pretty pretty powerful. Well, let's see. Right. Yeah, let's just talk about okay, it. Okay, so let's not talk about it. No, let's, uh, I'm going to select these, and let's do a quick review. What are audio components? Well, first of all, you select the clips, and you hit um, Control-Option-S, and that will reveal all of the audio components. All right. Instead okay. of just seeing one line for all the channels mixed together, you have separate components for each channel. Exactly. Exactly. So for example, this clip, first clip here has what looks like four separate audio channels or components. And this has two and this has one. I, I set up this array for a reason because I have some of them turned on, some of them turned okay. off. So it's and, kind of like every mic that went into every camera exactly. uh, separately. And as a matter of fact, one of the things that I wanted to uh, point out was that, that, that these channels down here represent different mics. So this would be like uh, the main character Tracy and Duncan so have separate mics and then we have like reference audio from the camera itself as separate mics. Uh -huh. We're not we're not necessarily going to work with all of that in our edit and we certainly don't want to export all of that. So I'm just right. kind of showing you by by way of example that when you put a clip in all of the audio components are contained within it. It's yes. kind of a self-contained like little and, suitcase of audio. And you've split them apart with this, you know, show audio components Correct. command. Correct. Right. So now I have a, the clip selected and I'm going to go into the inspector, go to the audio tab, the inspector, and then spill open the audio configuration. You can see <laughs> these are all the individual channels. Exact now, same thing we see in the project. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you watched our Final Cut Pro 10.0.6 in depth, you'll know that you can turn off channels, and as I turn them off, they disappear from the timeline, yeah. right? So it gives you a lot of control. And, and, and if I click on this clip, you can see as I spill it open, two of the channels are already, already turned turn off. off. Right. And notice I've even named the channels, which you can do in Final Cut 10.0.6 and above, is you can just double click your name. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've, I've already done that here for all of these clips. Okay? Yep. So it really so, cleans up the project, your totally timeline. Cleans it it only has what you really want to see in there. So I see I, I have uh, Tracy and Duncan are two principal characters and this third character, Jennifer. And that's that's all I really want to see. And it just, again, keeps my yes. timeline uncluttered. So, But now I want to talk about exporting. That's really what the, the kind of the core you know, thing I want to show right okay. now. It's not so much the components themselves, although um, we have plenty of training how on, to get on them out. how to get them out. Now, how to get them out, exactly. So, first things we need to talk about roles, not a, not as, not like, you know, you know, Cinnabon role or something, but, you know, <laughs> sorry, but roles, like I'm playing the role of the trader right now. So, <laughs> okay. and, but let's look at roles. So, let's go to the modify menu and, and go to edit roles. This, this is where I like to start. You can assign roles as, as your music, dialogue, and effects, but sometimes that's limiting. You might want to have those are, a, those are the default. Those roles, are the default, but uh -huh. you can break them out into subcategories of roles. Okay. So, for example, dialogue. Well, that, that can mean anything. It can be all these tracks that, uh -huh. that are tagged as dialogue. But we might we might want to get more, more specific. And in fact, they are already. You have that assigned as yeah, dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, you, if you did, if you select it, I'm going to go ahead and select that clip and go into the info. I'm glad you asked that. And then if I um, scroll up, you can see that that clip is assigned right here: a video role and a dialogue role. Got it. Right. Okay. But I want to go further with this. Which, and you didn't do that 
Final, Final Cut, Cut by default decided through its metadata schemes when yeah. I brought it in, oh, well, there's audio there. That must be dialogue. Okay. If you bring in a clip, sound effects clips from a sound effects library, it should assign them by role if they're tagged properly as an, as an effect. Yeah, the Final Cut's pretty smart about that. Um, although you don't want to just make you know global assumptions. You, yeah, you this is why you want to check it. Okay, yeah. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the modify menu and I want to uh, I want to edit the roles. So I'm going to bring up the edit modify edit roles. Right, exactly. Role so role editor. Okay. Yeah, there's a role edit. See, there's edit roles under the modify. And by the way, there's no keyboard assign. And if you watch uh, one of the previous episodes on color uh, color grading, you'll know how to assign With keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts. You, can, you can create your own keyboard shortcuts. Exactly. So here I'm going to select dialogue and. I have this little button over here. Notice this is sub roles. I can create sub roles named anything I want that's within that dialogue category. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click plus, and I'm going to call this. I'm going to to keep it. I'm going to call these roles the names of the characters. So Tracy is our lead character, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go ahead and add another sub role. I'm going to call one of them Duncan, and let's add yet a third, and let's call this Jennifer. Okay. So I have. Essentially, three sub roles sure. that are all tied to the dialogue okay. role they category. Are dialogue right. Roles. Okay. Now, one level deeper. Exactly. So I'm going to click OK. Now, let's say I wanted to export out. I need a Duncan's role, not Duncan's audio, and I know that his audio is on this channel right here. This mm -hmm. is the, this is his clean audio where he comes in. If I if I play a little bit, you can skim over this and you can hear it's Duncan. Tracy. He, he's it's his entrance, right? Tracy. So I want to assign that his Duncan uh, sub role. So no, notice I'm not selecting Tracy. I'm only selecting the, the component. Duncan component. Right. So in the info inspector, Duncan component. Duncan sounds com like Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> In fact, we're going to assign a Dunkin' Donut right here. Okay. okay. So notice now you can see your sub roles, Duncan. Yep. So I've just assigned Duncan to that channel. Actually, right here. Okay. Or yeah. that component. Or that component. Channel component, kind of same thing. Okay. Right now, I can go to the next clip. I'm going to select Tracy. I just want to assign. I want to assign the uh, Tracy to sub role, sub -role to, to, that to that one. Okay. And then I want to go over to Jennifer. Oops. Select the Jennifer, and we'll go ahead and choose uh, the Jennifer sub role. Okay. And, and you you could select multiple things. You don't have to do this one by one by one. Or you could select a bunch and assign them all yeah. to the same sub role. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. So we've assigned all of our individual audio components as roles and, and sub -sub -roles. as sub roles. Uh -huh. And now we're ready to export them. We want them to come out as separate files. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use Final Cut Pro's new share. Uh, menu, yep. and I'm going to choose master file. And what point about master file is it's always going to export the highest bandwidth, highest quality audio file from your sequence, or excuse me, your project. So they're like the original source, right? So if you source. have, if you're working with ProRes video, it's coming out ProRes video. Okay. If you're working with AIF 16-bit 48 kilohertz audio, it's going to come out. 16-bit, 48 kilohertz audio. The best bubbles. And you're usually doing that because you're going to do something else. To you're going to do something. You're, you're make, not going to put it on YouTube. You're not. No. The idea <laughs> is you're handing it off to somebody yes. for continued work. Yes. Okay, okay. That's the that's the bottom line. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings. And notice under format, you want to set this for audio only. Yep. And under roles, okay, you could uh, you could say audio roles as separate files. This is uh, key. Okay. You want to choose separate files. Okay. Now. What we want to do is right now, by the way, it's choosing dialogue. It's taking everything in there by default and making a, a simple file of dialogue and making right. a stereo out of it. Got it. Okay, that's good. That's handy to have, but that's not really what we want. We want individual files assigned to those roles. Right. So I'm going to choose add audio file. And I'm going to here. There they are. There they are. There's yep. a sub role. So I'm going to choose Duncan. And Duncan's not a stereo file. It really just needs to be a mono. mono. So you can assign it the, the the type, in this case yes. mono, and I'm going to add another audio file, and I'm going to choose uh, Jennifer, Jennifer. Uh -huh. and we'll assign her mono, and let's add one more audio file, let's add Tracy, and set that up as a mono file. Uh, so th this will export actually four separate files, four separate files? That's audio right, you'll get ah, four separate okay. audio files. Okay. And what's neat is each of those, Duncan, Jennifer, Tracy, will be just those characters, uh, right, completely lined up with the right. project. You can you can literally put them together in a timeline, you know, After Effects, yep. Premiere, Final Cut, whatever, and they'll, and line, they'll up. line up. They'll line Perfect. Up. And it's just that character's mic, so you might hear the other characters through that mic, but it's that character. Exactly, mic. it's the main yes. mic from that character. That's Got the it. beauty of this. Got so it. what I'm going to do is click Next. And I generally like to do is I create a folder. I'll export, export. You might even just call this something like you know stems. I'm just going to call it stems. Okay. okay. 
And in fact, let's be more specific. Audio stems. Click Create. And uh, it'll properly, by the way, save as, it'll leave the roommate roles, that's the name of the project. So okay. it'll actually stamp the file names with the name of the project, which is pretty nice. handy. So I'm gonna just click save. It'll take about, you know, a few seconds. And what it's doing, it's crunching out, it's, it's looking at the metadata, i.e. Yeah. the roles that are assigned to each of those. Oh, and they all just popped and they up. All, and they all popped up. Each one of these is, 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 is ready to go. So in fact, if I go to the finder, you'll see the audio stems. There they are. There's, yep, there's, there's the four. four. And notice they're, they're tagged, Jennifer, Tracy. Now, now let, let's listen to Duncan because you know he's the guy that first walks in the door. Yes. And you'll see it's just, you'll listen, it's just him. Jennifer. Oh, hey, you yeah. must be Tracy. And yes, it's me and Mike. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then Jennifer. In fact, the thing about this is, again, they're not going to start all at the beginning because it depends where they are. So I know Jennifer starts from somewhere in here. here yeah. Uh -huh. That's my boyfriend Duncan and his friend Pedro. Yep. So, I bet but see, so we won't even hear Jennifer at the first part of this file because she talks much later. But it's keeping late. sync. It's, it's keeping complete sync. Yes, which is it's, important. So you drop it into Pro Tools or you drop it into any other app, and they also will all line up with each other perfectly. No yes. sync pops. Yes. You have to deal with that. It's pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. Great. Great feature. Great way to understand how to uh, get your audio out yep. in separate pieces. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steve. Uh, if I want to find out more about working with Fonica Pro 10, I'm assuming Ripple Training is yep. still the place yep. to go. Yeah, still the place. Still the place to yeah. go. <laughs> All, right. All right, thank you. And thank you for watching Mac Break Studio.